It's bigger than football. It is political and it's informational. This is a political war and it's an information war. Simple as that. That's what it comes down to. And I know every every four years when we talk about, especially since the 2016 election, you know, leading up to that polling suggested one thing and then the result talking about the presidential election, the result went against the polling. And so the polling industry yeah. said, wait a minute, we got to recalibrate. We got to recalibrate in 2020. We won't make the same mistake. And pretty much uh, the same mistake was made again. And we learned that polling for all of the science and all the analytics that go with it can't necessarily be trusted in the way that pollsters have been doing it. I will say to you that the new polling, the new political polling should be asking people if they're vaccinated or not. It's, it's not foolproof. It's not 100%. But generally, it's close. Generally, generally, those who are not vaccinated, those who are not vaccinated, are either uh, Republicans, Libertarians. I, I'm sorry to do that to you, but you know, come on. Most of the time, Libertarians are really Republicans in hiding, for, for the most part. Uh, or people who don't vote. For the most part, the unvaccinated are Republicans, Libertarians, Independents, people who don't vote. And if you really want to you know, figure out where the country is politically, just go around and see who believes in vaccinations or not. It's much larger than football. I understand what you're can saying, I, but it's much, I, much bigger I, than that. Can I back you up? Yeah, well, the, yes. I was basing it on the news uh, of the Falcons and the Raiders, but let me back you up and let me throw mask. I know, I know. Let me throw, yeah, yeah, let yeah. Me throw mask in that bucket for you. Let me, I'm going just, to just back you up with a stat real quick and then give it right back. But it's just, a, just, just throw masking, you know, in, in that conversation as well with with vaccines. I literally just saw this poll his speaking of polls, right? I literally just saw this poll before uh, like moments before the show started. Um, and this is uh, the Axios Ipsos uh, Coronavirus Index. Uh, and it according according to which it's a survey of approximately 1000 US adults between August 13th and 16th, 92 per, the percentage of adults supporting mandatory masking in schools. Okay, 92% Democrat, 67% Independent, 44% Republican, and overall 69% of surveyed American adults support masking in schools. But the survey finds that given that the Republican base, which I just mentioned, is going so far against the grain, so disproportionately, that's why you have your Ron DeSantis and your Greg Abbott of the world. Um, taking the posture that they have as it relates to vaccine slash mask mandates continue. And I say it's I say it's political and informational. What do I mean by informational? It all really comes down to where do you get your information? What do you choose to believe? Now, uh, there are, are there are doctors out there. Uh, we, 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 we've read about them. We've heard about them. We've seen them. They got videos. It's, it's all kinds of stuff. You can find doctors who are anti vaxxers. You, are, you, you can find doctors who are on, uh, you can call them information campaigns if you believe what they say, or uh, disinformation, misinformation campaigns. And so if you get your news from there, if you value what they have to say, you're not going to believe somebody like me who says, you know what, go ahead and get that vaccination. Go ahead and do that. You're going to say uh, it makes you loopy. You're going to say that uh, the government is, is putting some type of device inside of you to control you. You're going to say all kinds of things because that's what you value. So it's informational and it's political. I can tell you this now. I'm going to I'm going to throw another O at you. How about anecdotal? I told you yesterday that Mike, I drove all over the country, 30% of the country. We touched 30% of the country on our on our fabulous drive, the Holly family. And I can tell you we went to uh, leave New England, which is a heavily Hey, all, all heavily democratic, heavily. Hey, let's put that back. Let's do that vaccine. Let's do that mass thing. Let's do it. Social distance. That's New England. We got to Ohio. Most people were all about it. Although I think Ohio is now a red state. Sorry, sad to say it. My, my, my home state's a red state, uh, not crimson, not crimson and gray like Ohio State, but red, uh, politically red. The last couple of elections, last election, last two. Ohio, though, a lot of people wearing masks. As we started to go south, Mike, we were aliens. We would come out with our mask on. People would look at us like we were crazy. We went to your home state and your hometown. I think I counted oh, about 
a half dozen. I think I counted about a half dozen people wearing masks. Nobody on we yeah. ain't even touched Bourbon Street. Nobody on Bourbon Street, Canal Street, Poydras, whatever, all around that area, that tourist trap area. Nobody was rocking it because that's that's really where we are. You go to red states, people don't believe it. You go to blue states, people believe it. And and the NFL is no different than any other industry. Some industries, uh, the employees are all about it. Other industries, the employees are skeptical. Thank God for the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know why they did it. Maybe they had an incentive. Maybe it was about football. Maybe it's about their politics. I don't know. I'm glad they did. This is the last thing I'll say. Here's the last the, thing I'll say. The, the know, Washington yesterday, football team got a, got a head coach. The Washington football team got a head coach that's, you know, immunocompromised, begging, uh, yeah. like, hey, like, like, stop depending on, on this uh, for your information. I mean, he went off to... Alba Breer uh, in the Monday morning quarterback the other day. Just your point about uh, about what you believe. Quick line on um, that uh, that a friend of mine that I follow on social media said. Uh, and again, you talk about good lines. I can't make the club from the tub. This is about the fact that the overwhelming majority, and I'm talking about like high 90s, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to put put any misinformation out there, but it's the overwhelming majority, uh, if not practically complete. The number of, of hospitalizations and deaths at this point is among the unvaccinated, right? You yeah, want, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm being conservative oh, to make sure I don't get yeah, it wrong, but it's like it's, it's not even. No, no, yeah. you're correct. Okay, cool. So it's, great. Yes. So here's, here was the yes. line. Here was the line. Uh, and the line was the thing about math is if it's true that is that it's true even if you don't want to believe it. <laughs> That's the thing about math. So <laughs> we say 99 percent of people who are in the hospital and dying of COVID are the unvaccinated. You can believe what you want. The numbers, as I used to say, they never lie. So you you get the last uh, word. Yesterday, we go to break before we welcome in our here's, company. I don't. Here, here's the last word. All right. I, I feel like I have become a more patient person overall. I become more patient overall in my life. Uh, I am learning. You know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you've been married 16 years, right? 16 years, Your Honor. 16. So uh, I've been married 14, so I'm still learning. I'm becoming a more patient husband. I'm becoming mm -hmm. a more patient father. So I, I, I'm, I'm good in those areas. I, I, I can see the improvement. But Mike, I tell you, cer certain things, mm, I'm becoming intolerant in some areas of my life. I, I'm going to call myself out. I'm becoming intolerant. You know, one thing I've become intolerant on, I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, look, you can judge me if you want. Uh, hey, I, I pray every day and every and, and my prayer always says, help me. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving I'm giving you my flaws. God uh, here. I'm bearing. I'm making them bear. Go ahead and touch them. I need it. So you can pray for me on this. You can judge me. I'm becoming so intolerant with these vaccination incentives. Hey, you know, get a vaccine, you know, million dollars. If if you don't believe I'm in vaccination, jealous. you get vaccinated. You get, I'm just hey, jealous. Hey, listen. I, I mean, like, I'm hey, why, why, why ain't had that in the beginning? <laughs> why I, why I couldn't I, get that? I, I was, I'm not. <laughs> I got no time for it. I'm not trying. I don't want to incentivize it. I don't want you to convince to. you. I'd be a terrible. I'd be terrible. I'm a terrible salesman. I'm a terrible salesman. You I'm not trying to sell to. you. Okay. I'm so I'm, I'm so over it. I'm over it. Go ahead. And it's not right for me to say, I'll say it. Go ahead. You don't want it. Don't do it. Just the only thing I ask, just let a brother know. Just let a brother know. Don't lie to me about it. Don't say you're vaccinated and you're not. Like, if you don't believe in vaccine, just let me know. And like, we're sitting down together. Yeah. If I'm sitting next to you and you're not yeah. vaccinated, just let me know. Other than that, people I'm like good. to say, you no, do whatever you want to like do. to say it's a person. I, I, I said you had the last word, but that was too good. Unvaccinated people like to say as a personal choice. A personal choice is how I'm wearing my hair. You know, a personal choice <laughs> is like if I decide a tattoo. This, no, this is a public health issue. It's not a personal choice if your decision making affects my life, my livelihood, my lifestyle, and, and my ability and those that I love to remain healthy or just a function in society. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us. 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.